Hey man. Well, first to answer your question about the tuning. Um, out of what I read myself, um, it's more like an, uh, a, a from reasons of economy, right? Because uh, it allows open tunings, open uh, chord positions such as this A here, which if transposed becomes this, or this, or this, or this for other chords, but the position stays the same, and it's pretty easy to finger if you want to bar A it. Otherwise, imagine that uh, if you would have wanted to bar A something and have one of the notes make another chord here, you would have to do something like, I don't know, an impossible position such as this one. It wouldn't have went so. It's all out of economy, and if you pay attention to other uh, types of tunings, uh, open tunings especially, you'll see that they were created for the ease of playing some chord positions. And I personally like the open tunings a lot because they offer a lot of possibilities and they sound really uh, bright and open. But obviously, uh, as I told you out of what I read, the reason for which uh, we have a B here instead of, instead of a C is simply due to uh, um, having a, uh, I don't know, more ergonomical combination. Man, my tongue was tied up in a knot. So ergonomic combination between chord positions and scale positions when playing. You know, uh, imagine that uh, we play a major scale like this. So uh, let's say G major, right? Um, if this would have been C, uh, we would have probably had to do this. And maybe things would have been different or more difficult. I have no clue. Haven't tried it yet, but I think it's basically because of this. Now, related to my high pitched voice, um, this is my ability, man, and I've honed it uh, unconsciously and then consciously over the years to such a degree that I can uh, use it almost at will. But it's something that you work on and it's more like discovering your range and being able to take full advantage of, of your range. Work on that. It's going to help a lot. Find your range and see which... Uh, actually, what you need to do is find out which songs you're most comfortable singing in their original key. Try that, and we'll uh, go in, we're, we can debate on the on the matter if you want. Cheers, man. Oh, um, almost forgot. I've noticed the exercises, and I think it's very good what you did. But right now, uh, if you did the if you've done them vertically, so, uh, I don't know, such as try that. Uh, that stuff where you say the notes and be conscious of where one octave finishes and whether where the other starts. For instance, if you go vertically, right? One octave ends here and it starts here again, of course. Or you can try it this way. See, you just skipped uh, with this finger here when the octave finished and the other one began, so that you will want it to mark it, right? And vice versa here. See, from this one, you went up to this one. Just be conscious when going up and down these scales where everything is happening, where you have the C notes, and of course, the next step, aside from this, sing. Sing the notes and say their names when you sing them. You just do like C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, and so on. Let me know how it feels, okay? Cheers, man.